Hello everyone, so this isn't actually the video that I had planned for you guys today but I recently saw a discussion video on Sylvia Kay's channel talking about the prominence and popularity of YA young adult fiction here on booktube and I just thought it was really interesting and really insightful. I know she was inspired by a couple of other booktubers as well and she talks about a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to talk about so I will leave a link to that video in the description down below and I really recommend that you go and watch it. So I just wanted to basically throw my own two pennies into this discussion. I want to talk about why I think YA is so popular here on booktube. I know Sylvia suggested that it could be to do with the demographics of booktube, who mostly watches booktube videos, who mostly produces booktube videos. Sylvia suggested that it is mostly people in their teens and early 20s and that's not necessarily something that I agree with because I know that, for example, if YouTube analytics is accurate at all, that my audience isn't of that age range and yet I do talk about a lot of YA. Um, I know that there are people, myself included, who are outside of that age range who do genuinely read and love a lot of YA contemporary and when I talk about YA in this video I am talking about contemporary books because I think that the line of distinction between young adult and adult contemporary is much more clear than it is in other genres. For example, fantasy, the line between young adult fantasy and adult fantasy is a lot more blurred whereas with contemporary you can clearly see that young adult contemporary and adult contemporary do talk about very different issues and deal with them in very different ways and I think what it comes down to is why do you read contemporary if you read contemporary? Um, do you read it for entertainment? Do you read it for inspiration? Or do you read it for validation of your own thoughts and feelings? And I think for me that's why I read contemporary. I read because I want to know that my own thoughts and feelings are normal um, because I felt quite different for a lot of my life. So if I can relate to a character in a contemporary book who is going through similar things that I've been been through and thinking and feeling similar things to what I've thought and felt, then obviously that makes me happy. happy. It makes me feel normal. And I do prefer young adult contemporary to adult contemporary because I do find young adult contemporary more relatable and more honest and more diverse and I was trying to think about why that is and I've realised, I've come to the conclusion that it's because up here I'm still 18 years old, 21 at a push, um, albeit I like to think quite a mature level-headed 18 to 21 year old for example like I don't go out and get drunk and I'm not completely clueless about love and sex or anything like that but I am still just as lost and confused and overwhelmed about the adult world. And for example, I can relate to things like failed relationships, I can relate to dysfunctional families, I can relate to um, issues and confusion with your sexuality, I can relate to um, falling in love with your best friend, I can relate to being scared, I can even relate to fighting monsters, but I can't relate to getting married, I can't relate to getting divorced, I can't relate to having a high-flying career, I can't relate to having a child, I can't relate to losing a child, I can't relate to losing a parent. And I think that's why I mostly prefer to read YA contemporary over adult contemporary because I don't know whether this is a reflection on me and the people that I choose to spend my time with but I will be 27 years old in a couple of months and yet I've never been to a hen party, I've never been to a baby shower, I've never congratulated any of my friends on getting pregnant or none of my friends really have like important high-flying jobs or anything like that. I mean my friends are all kind of mid-twenties and yet we still sometimes eat chocolate for breakfast and we still get excited about new Disney films and we still have crazy impossible dreams and we still, you know, fall in love with strangers and stuff like that. But that's us and I think that's why so many people my age tend to gravitate towards YA contemporary over adult contemporary because we can relate to them and I think that what it means to be 25 to 30 now has changed so much in the last few years. I don't know whether it's just because of you know my group of friends and where we live and our culture and stuff like that, it may be different 
in other places in the world I don't know but I think that's why I and the people that I know tend to prefer YA contemporary because that's who we are I think and yeah I think that's probably why I prefer YA contemporary and why a lot of people on booktube tend to prefer YA contemporary so yeah I would love to know if you have any further thoughts on this please let me know in the comments down below I will leave all of my social media in the description down below I hope you're having an awesome day and I will see you very soon for another video bye bye